بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله. Someone sent me this video here, and I thought about whether I should address it or not. And I watched it several times, and the more I watch it, the sillier it becomes. I was about to put together something a little bit more elaborate, but let's just do a quick breakdown of this video, inshallah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And let's see if the brother's argument is convincing or not, or if it stands up to any scrutiny. Here, this video is 2 minutes 18 seconds. I asked the person who sent me the video, is this the whole video? They said yes. So that's all I have. If you got something missing, then you know, I don't know about it. I'm not even looking for it. But let's see what we have here. So this speaker says, here he goes. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tomorrow, May 27th, one of the day around the year when the sun is going to be in the top of the Kaaba exactly before the Dhuhr Salah called Az Zawal. So the sun is going to be in top of the Kaaba without no shadow around the Kaaba, which means it's 100% top of the Kaaba. Al Imam al Razi, in his tafsir, he said, You could use this to know what is the Qibla. If you see the sun in your eyes in the time, the whole time in Mecca, that's me you see in the Kaaba. Exactly. Now, it's work anywhere you could see the sun. I'm just going to give you an example about the United States of America. When you come up here, for example, in Boston, in Maine, in New Hampshire, in New York, in Philadelphia, all the East Coast, you're going to see the sun when it's in the top of the Kaaba in the same time but there is different the only place you gonna be the perfect for this is Boston Boston the sun gonna rise seven or eight minutes before the sun is gonna be in top of the Kaaba so if you're gonna know exactly what is the Qibla in the United States of America you gotta follow this because this is the good sign to know a lot of people confused because they think the earth is a flat if somebody thinks the earth is a flat, we have nothing to do with him because he's very ignorant to the to the to the point we cannot talk to him. I'm just gonna give you an example. What what the story is? If you are if you're in Mecca and you start walking towards the north, so you're facing your back is going south. If you keep going up north, up north, when you get to the North Star here, and you pass it, the straight line on the global is going to become as a south. So the opposite way of the south is a north. So we will be a bit confused. All right, let's go through that one more time. Now, the first thing um, that threw me off here in this video is this little funny face ball here um i think that it's not part of the prop but first few times i watched this i wasn't sure if it was part of the prop or not was this supposed to be representing the sun and then this is also representing the sun or what but it seems like it's not part of the prop i don't know so if it is it has no payoff. It doesn't lead anywhere. And it looks very weird also. He says, Tomorrow, May 27th, one of the day around the year, when the sun is going to be in the top of the Kaaba exactly before the Dhuhr Salah. Okay. I'm not going to have any argument, about, any argument about whether the sun is over the Kaaba or not. That, in and of itself... I have no issue with. The issue is whether people are pushing on the Muslims a method for determining the Qibla that's not valid. I say it is not valid. Now, I'm not saying that from my opinion. According to what I've learned, according to what I know, it is not valid. Now, if this is valid, 
This brother here does a horrible job of proving it. So, let's let's see. Before the Dhuhr Salah, called as Zawal. Wrong. It's not called Zawal. The time before Dhuhr is not called Zawal. The time before Dhuhr, when the sun is at its zenith, is called Istiwa. So, you are blundering in your terminology in a matter that you should be, if you're going to make a video like this, knowing which words to choose. So the sun is going to be on top of the Kaaba without no shadow around the Kaaba, which means it's 100% top of the Kaaba. If a person was not seeing the Kaaba, then how would he know that the sun is over the Kaaba? If I'm in another town, how would I know that the sun is over the Kaaba? If your answer is technology, then you've refuted yourself. Then you can't claim that they used to do this method. So that can't be your answer. So I wonder, what is your answer? Al Imam Al Razi, in his tafsir, he said you could use this to know what is the Qibla. He said, Imam Al Razi, in his tafsir, said that you can use this method to know where is the Qibla. Give us the reference. Brothers and sisters, don't look for that reference. Let him bring it to you. Let him bring it to you. Let's see the reference for that. It's not permissible to gamble, but if I were a gambling man, I don't think he's going to bring one. But I could be surprised. So let's see what you have. Bring the reference. Let's see the reference so that we can scrutinize it for ourselves. But until then, brothers and sisters, my advice is don't believe it. If you see the sun in your eyes in the time, the whole time in Mecca, that's me, you see in the Kaaba. Who said so? He said, if you see the sun with your eyes at the time when the sun is directly over the Kaaba, that means you're, you're seeing the Kaaba. Who said so? Show us the reference for that because the scholars said otherwise. What they said was, if you don't see the Kaaba, then you are lacking the definitive knowledge of the location of the Kaaba. In other words, the one who sees the Kaaba is not like the one who does not see the Kaaba. They didn't say, if you don't see the Kaaba, then look for the sun over the Kaaba on the day when the sun is over the Kaaba. If you don't see the Kaaba, then what you do, as Imam and Noah we said, if you don't see the Kaaba, I'll put the references, inshallah ta'ala. If you don't see the Kaaba, then you take the word of someone who can see the Kaaba, not someone who sees the sun over the Kaaba, someone who can see the Kaaba, and he informs you of its direction. If you don't have someone who informs you, you neither see the Kaaba, nor you have a knowledgeable, trustworthy person informing you about the direction of the Kaaba because he sees it. Then you make your own ijtihad, you make your own determination for the Kaaba. And they said, the strongest sign for that is the North Star. The North Star. Not the sun over the Kaaba, the North Star. So, bring your references. I'll put my references. Bring your references, let's see. Who in the world talked about the sun over the Kaaba? And if they did, then what did they say? Exactly. Now, it's work anywhere you could see the sun. I'm just going to give an example about the United States of America. Uh, let's also take note of his prop being very flimsy. Very flimsy prop. Um, again, this little funny ball is there for some reason. Allahu A'lam, is it supposed to be part of the prop or not? It's very distracting at the least. If it's not part of the prop, then it's very distracting. If it is part of the prop, there's no payoff for it in this video. When you come up here, for example... Ah, now, this part is very entertaining to me. Observe here, okay, first of all, this green straw that he has here. This green straw has absolutely no purpose in this video. It's there for no reason. Okay, so, looks like, I don't know, that green straw is like that yellow ball. It's just there for distraction. Or whatever, I don't know, Allahu A'lam, it's very weird. 
Now, you see here how he's pointing at this, um, what represents the northeastern uh, coast of the United States here. All right. Philadelphia, brothers and sisters, by the way, is uh, somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Philadelphia. You're going to see that he's just like pointing at stuff randomly as if he doesn't even know what's on the map. And he's going to wind up saying Philadelphia is somewhere down here below this green straw or just saying words randomly. For example, in Boston, in Maine, in New Hampshire, in New York, in Philadelphia, all the East Coast. What are you talking about? It's like you don't even know what you're talking about. Why is this green straw here and not here or here? What's the point? There's no point to it being there. Now... You can assume what a point might be. Or maybe you just put it there just for that string. He doesn't need to put a whole tall green straw there just to secure the string. So I, it's not there just for the string. Maybe it's there for something he did in the past. Well, who knows? Allahu A'lam. has no benefit here and it's just a distraction. Okay? And apparently you don't know geography. So don't you dare blame someone for not knowing geography. Don't go pointing all over the place and then and then tell somebody else about geography. Let, let's take another look at that. Here, for example, in Boston, in Maine, in New Hampshire, in New York, in Philadelphia, Philadelphia all the East Coast, <laughs> yeah. you're going to see the sun when it's in the top of the Kaaba. In the Where's the sun? He said, you're going to see the sun, and he's following this line here. Where's the sun? Where is the prop that was flimsily taped to this flat beach ball? The beach ball is quite flat, is it not? I think, if you haven't seen how flat it is, I think we'll get a chance to see its flatness. So that little thing that he taped over there with this rod and that little yellow thing dangling over there, or whatever, that little dang, that yellow thing on top of that rod does not appear again in this video. This string is not even lined up with that thing, apparently. And the, gr the green straw also is not. What sun are you trying to prove to the people that they are seeing at a certain time of day, at a certain time of year, from the northeast coast of the United States or the east coast of the United States. Let's just back up a little again, a little bit, one more time, inshallah. Make sure that we didn't miss something here. Okay? Let's take a look. You're going to see the sun. What sun? What sun are you talking about? The one that you showed us in the beginning of the video that's taped on top of a pole or mounted on top of a pole somewhere? That thing is not going to appear again in this video. So he's not showing you how anything is lined up or how any of this proves his point. When it's in the top of the Kaaba in the same time, but... He doesn't even show you the other side again where it's supposed to be in Mecca. And if I'm not mistaken, he didn't even um, zero in to show you that that thing is taped at Mecca, but maybe it is. Different. The only place is going to be the... Oh, hold on here. Look here. None of your stuff lines up. The green straw does not line up with that white rod over there, and this string does not line up. All these three things don't line up. This, this is part is interesting. The, the sun, when it's in the top of the Kaaba in the same time, but that is different. The only place you're going to be the perfect for this is Boston. The only place is going to be perfect for this is Boston. Then what does the rest of United States the East Coast United States have to do with this. The rest of East Coast United States is not perfect for this. It's deficient for this. It's not perfect for this. It's deficient for this. It's Nalkis. Laysa Kamilan, Ethan, Nalkis. It's deficient for this. So Boston is the perfect spot. So why are you talking about everything else? Boston, the sun going to rise seven or eight minutes before the sun is going to be on top of the Kaaba. Allah knows if that's true or it's not true, brothers and sisters. Don't let the fact that this person is making a video and saying claims, don't let that be, you know, some proof for you. He's not showing you any evidence, actually. He's just claiming. Anyway, he's trying to get you to a mistake. He's doing all of this to prove a mistake. So there's no need for you to take it. But 
Let's see, the video is almost over. So, if you're going to know exactly what is the Qibla in the United States of America. Now the whole United States of America. If you want to know where is the Qibla in all of the United States of America, the most perfect spot for you to know the prayer direction for all of the United States in America is Boston out of two days of, or four days of the year, two days in the summer and two days in the winter. That's the most perfect, the best way for you to determine the Qibla for all of the United States, according to this speaker. You gotta follow this because this is the good sign to know. A lot of people confuse because they think the earth is flat. If somebody thinks the earth is flat, we have nothing to do with him because he I don't say that the earth is flat and I'm not saying that he's addressing me but what I do want to say is the scholars never said that knowing the shape of the earth is a condition for determining the Qibla in the first place so for those of you brothers and sisters who are interested in correct authentic knowledge then be sure that you're taking that knowledge from someone who's taking it by correct transmission not someone who's a parrot saying what other people are saying without the proper scrutiny. So the scholars didn't say, and the Prophet ﷺ didn't say that you have to know the shape of the earth in the first place. He's very ignorant to the, to the, to the point we cannot talk to him. I'm just going to give you an example what, what the story is. If you are... You see how flat that is? If it were me, I would have had at least blown it up all the way. If you're in Mecca and you start walking towards the north. Huh. Now there's a complete different point here. If you are at Mecca and you start walking towards the north, what happened to the sun over the Kaaba in the first place? Why are you talking about walking towards the north from Mecca and you're supposed to be proving to us that you can use the sun over the Kaaba to find the direction of prayer and you never even showed us a second time this yellow ball you have mounted on the rod. Now you're talking about a completely different point about walking towards the North Pole from the Kaaba. Now you want to talk about walking from the Kaaba to the North Pole. What does that have to do with the sun over the Kaaba? Absolutely nothing. There's no payoff in this video. Let's see. So you're facing, your back is going south. Huh, okay. Your back is to the south. Has nothing to do with the sun over the Kaaba. If you keep going up north, up north, when you get to the north star here. Did you mean the North Pole? And you pass it, the straight line on the global is going to become as a south. So the opposite way of the south is a north. So what he wants to say to you here is... Once you cross that point, you'll be changing directions without changing directions. That's what he's saying. That's the meaning of his talk right now. He's saying that if you walk from the Kaaba, north, 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 in a straight line, without going to the right or going to the left, you're going to reach a point where once you pass that point, you're going to be going south, 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 and you never went right, and you never went left, and you never went backwards. So you're going in one direction, but you actually went in two directions. He's saying... You just went in two directions, two opposite directions. You, you are going to go in two opposite directions without changing direction. That's really what he's saying. And I believe that that's the real goal behind this video. Not to show you all that sun over the Kaaba stuff, but to say this case that he's saying here. And as you can see here, I'm going to finish this video. There's only two seconds left of the video. So there's no payoff here. That whatever little rod he had, it meant nothing. The green, um, the green straw meant nothing. The dangling ball with the funny face meant nothing. Even the string he had over the uh, beach ball meant nothing. The beach ball itself is quarter way flat. So be warned, brothers and sisters. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Be careful where you take your knowledge from. So here's the last two seconds of this video. So people may be confused. And that's it. That's how it stops. So, subhanallah wa bihamdi. What was that?